What's up, my peoples? MGO here, the freaking geek himself, and welcome to another exciting episode of MGO Build Stuff. Not really, but whatever, you know, it is what it is. But we're going to be moving along with the Kamen Rider Geo Soldo figures here of the Another Riders, and next up we have number three, another Fies. So here we have another Fies up top, Fies over here. Files, things, stuff, barcodes, things, and stuff that I cannot read. More things, more stuff, some numbers. On the back of the box, lineup, pictures, things, stuff. Sword Pac-Man! And let's get down to it! Because ain't nothing to it, but to do it. And we have the gum here. We're going to open up the gum now. We'll just chew this up. We'll chew this up while we're opening up everything. Here's the gum. Cheers. Pink. Oh, okay. There we go. Hey, gum. And here we have the stickers, and uh, eh, not as many as uh, X8 had, so they should go fairly smoothly. I forgot my knife. It's okay. I'll just rip them open. Rip them open with my mitts. Uh, all right. Let's go. Open. Grab hand. Uh, there we go. Aha! Got it all in one shot. There we go. Oops. I just uh, ripped his leg apart. All right. And then we have hands. More hands. And there we go. His leg came apart. I had to put his leg back together here. How'd that happen? What happened? What happened? What happened? Okay. Whoops. Hey. Okay, I see. I see what you're doing here. Another phase. There we go. That's oh no, that's just that's just loose. I may have to uh, I may have to put a little dab of glue on that to keep that together because his leg does not want to stay together. Alrighty. Yeah, it's just yeah. Huh. Okay. Well, you know what? You know what? You know what? I'm gonna have to glue this back. I'm gonna glue his leg back together. I will be right back. All right, I glued his leg back together. That's not coming apart ever again because I used some good old-fashioned Gorilla Glue here. There we go. That's never coming apart. All right, he's back together again. Hooray! Hooray for things with being back together. Yay! Let's go. And we'll split open the box here because we have our instrucciones right here. There we go. Okay. So we got the hands, put the hands off to the side, we don't need them right now. We have our stickers, our stickers, and we have another fies. And I am still chewing this gum. Why am I still chewing this gum? I had to go, oh, go. Mm -hmm. ah, there we go. Would you like some? Would you like some? Some ABC gum? You can have it. I'm gonna put it on eBay. I'm gonna sell it. <laughs> gum chewed by MGO. It's gum chewed by the famous YouTube toy reviewer, MGO. I bumped the camera. I, I gotta stop bumping the camera. I gotta stop doing that, jeez. Anyway. All right, so we're gonna get started here with Fives. Fives, come on, Fives. Come on, Fives. All right, fine. Then you just, <laughs> just lay there with your legs up in the air. No, no, actually, no. That's just vulgar. Don't do that, man. Don't do that. Okay. So what are we doing? Um, it's getting off to a great start, isn't it? Wonderful start! Wonderful start. Okay. Alright, so what are we going to do here? Uh, we're just going to start... I want to start from the legs and just usually, you know, start from the legs. Work my way up. So I think I will do just that. So, uh, what do we have here? We have 14 and 13. I'm assuming that's... Those are the corresponding legs that we're working with. So, 14, 13. Where are 14 and 13? They're right here. So we have, this one's 13, and as always, using my handy dandy sticker applying tweezers from Toy Hawk Stacking! Anyway, so, these go around his calves, like so. And I will say it does kind of suck that you're, you're you're covering up all this nice molded detail with uh, with stickers, but you know I, it is what it is. Again, like I say every single time I review one of these things, hey, if you want to paint it up, go ahead, paint it up. 
paint it up to your heart's delight. If you got skill like that, then use that skill. That is skill I don't have. I have all the skill when it comes to applying stickers. Uh, that I have all, all the skill, all of it. Every last bit of skill I have for that. But painting, no. Painting, I have no skill whatsoever. A lot of people suggested Gundam markers too. Like, yeah, yeah, I guess I could. I, I am good with markers, so I don't know. Maybe I could use like a Gundam marker on these if I really wanted to go the extra mile. But, yeah. At the end of the day, I don't care too much. At the end of the day, I don't care too much. Yeah, no. It's just a toy. That's just a toy with some little stickers on it. I don't need it to be the most fantastic thing ever made, ever seen, ever done. You know? I don't care. <laughs> so. That is just going on right there. Although I will say these stickers are going on some very uh, kind of textured pieces of his leg here. It's kind of... Kind of hard to get things looking at least somewhat decent, but you know, there's a lot of stuff this is going over. But hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. So, as usual, how's your weekend going? Is your weekend going good? Again, I am talking to you from the past, it's Thursday. You're watching this on Saturday, but I'm recording this on Thursday. So again, I'm talking to you from the past. So, you know, tell me what it's like in the future. Do we still have, do we have the flying cars yet? I know I asked this last week. I'm hoping one of these days somebody's going to say, yes, we have flying cars finally. Woo! They're awesome. They get horrible gas mileage, but they're awesome. You know, I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting for that day <laughs> to happen. <laughs> waiting for it. Waiting with bated breath. 16 and 15, go on the other one. All right. One day my flying car will come for me and take me away. That is my dream. That is the world I someday want to live in. And I probably never will. I'll probably be dead and gone, six feet under, by the time flying cars actually happen. Anyway. Teleportation. Tele that's another thing, teleportation. Again, this is supposed to, it's 2019, it's the future, you know? Remember back in the 80s, this was the future? This, this is the future, we should have teleportation, we should be star trekking our way from place to place, you know? We should have those those replicators that they use on the Enterprise, you just tell it what you want to eat and it just, just materializes in front of you. We don't have that yet, we don't have that technology, why not? I don't know. But we should, why? Because this is the future. It's 2019. It is the future. But, you know, we still don't have those things. So, what? Uh, really? Have we really progressed that much? What do we have? What do we have? What do we have in the year 2019? What do we have in the future? You know what we have? We have cell phones that can kind of sort of answer a question that you ask it. That's what we have. We have phones that can sometimes answer a question that you ask it. And most of the times, doesn't answer it right. <laughs> or mishears you. I don't know what you're saying. I'm sorry, what was that? Say that again, what? I can't enunciate any more than this, Siri. Or Alexa. Or whoever. Whatever the thing's name is now, I don't know. We got Siri, we got Alexa. I don't know. I don't know. But we don't have it. My point is, we don't have this technology yet. Why don't we? Why don't we? I don't know. But anyway. <laughs> you know, we do have stickers. We have that in abundance. And that is technology that will never, ever get old. Seven. So we're starting on the thighs here. Seven. I want my robot made. I know we talked about this last week. I don't care. No, I want my robot made. I want a Roomba. I want a robot made. I want a legit robot made. And why don't I have these things? Why? Why don't these things exist yet? I don't know. I don't know, but it should. It so should. Hey, don't you be coming undone on me, glue. Sorry to split a little bit more. The glue's probably not totally set yet. I'm just... I couldn't wait too long here, okay? I gotta get these videos done. 
I can't sit here and wait for glue to dry, even though Gorilla Glue does dry pretty dang quick. So apparently it's not perfectly set yet, but sorry. Hopefully his leg won't come apart. The stickers will keep his leg together now. It's okay. It's got reinforcement now. It's got that good reinforcement. All right, number five. We're just working our way up. Okay, I see how this works now. I see, I see you, I see you. Okay. So that goes there. Like that. Make them all red and black. I like that. You know I have a fondness for those colors, in case you haven't noticed. I have. I certainly have. Because it's me. Anyway. Oh, man. I don't have anything to rant about this week. So, you know, it's probably not going to be the most entertaining build. <laughs> I can't rant about anything today. I can't think of anything to rant about. So, you know, hey, it's okay. So far, life is all right. Can't complain too much. Not too much, anyway. You can always complain. But <laughs> I can't complain too much. Things are all right. Things are okay. Things are not in frame. There we go. This goes on his hip. On his hip. Right there. Boom. Boom. Boom! That went on perfectly. You know why? All the skill. I have it. Alrighty. That worked out pretty nicely. Okay. Not too bad. Not too shabby. We're making our way. We're making our way through. Huzzah. Huzzah, I say! How many times have you used the word huzzah in normal conversation? That's what I want to know. Huzzah! Just the jubilant huzzah. That's the world. That's what the world needs nowadays. More people saying huzzah. You know? Huzzah. I don't think that word ever really gets old. People will look at you weird, but it doesn't really get old. That's, you know, that's my point. Alrighty. We're moving along at a decent pace. This is going well. He actually doesn't have a whole lot of stickers here, so... We should get through this fairly, fairly quickly, I say. Although this will probably still be like a half-hour video, but... To me, it seems fairly quickly, which it always does. To me, it always seems like I'm making record time in these build videos, in these, you know, st these stickering videos. Let's call it what it is. <laughs> I always feel like I'm making record time in these stickering videos, but then when I actually go to edit, it's still like 20 minutes. I'm like, all right, okay. Was I bumped the camera. I wasn't as, <laughs> not as quick as I thought it was, but I always feel like I'm getting through them fairly quickly. The feeling is there, just the actual reality of it is uh, totally different. But, you know, hey. Perception is reality. Or is it reality is perception? I, I forget how that goes. It's, you know, one of those one of those things, one of those wise sayings that everybody uses but don't quite know what they mean. Yeah, no, I don't know. Alright, so we got his legs all stickered up. Huzzah! Huzzah, I say. Alright, so now we can get on to the main body here. We'll put on the uh, the driver sticker here. And that's it's got the uh, it's got the eye from uh, Lord of the Rings in there. That's the uh, what's it called? The eye of the eye of Sauron? I haven't seen Lord of the Rings in so long. I'm sorry, I don't remember. <laughs> it's been so long since I've seen Lord of the Rings. I don't remember what things are called. All I remember is the last movie had like 25 endings, and I was like, what's going on here? When is this movie going to be over? <laughs> that was my one issue with the last Lord of the Rings movies. It had like 20 different, it had like 20 endings. There were so many natural points where you were like, oh, the movie's over now, and then it just goes on to like another five more scenes, and I'm just like, why is this not... What? And then the next scene just seems like, oh, okay, that should be the ending. That seems like a perfect way to... Uh, no, no, there's more. Okay, well. <laughs> I guess we're going to be here a while. All right. You know. I found that amusing when I was watching the movies. Anyway. Number 10. 
We got four arm stickers now. Four arm stickers. Oop. So how does this, how does this go? Oh, okay, I see. I see. I see what's going on here. I see what's happening. I see. I see the game you're playing here. Sticker. I see your game, and I'm not going to play it. Actually, I'm going to play it because I have to. That's where it has to go. Unfortunately, the sticker is my lord and master because it tells me what to do and where to do it. So in this case, you win, sticker. You win. But ultimately, I will find a way to beat you. I'll find a way to beat you into submission. Bend you to my will! Is any of this making sense? No? Good. Exactly the way I like it. Exactly the way I like it. Completely unintelligible and nonsensical. That is what this channel revolves around, really. If you haven't noticed by now, that's basically what this channel is. Just a bunch of nonsense. Masked under the veil of knowledge. <laughs> anyway, forearms. Done. Cool. Now, chest stickers. You got them big chest stickers. So what's that? 11, 12, 11, and 12. We're going to get through this pretty quickly. We're going to get through this pretty quickly. Oh, here you go. You, you, you want to know? Uh, you want to know a fun little fact here that I did not know about? I did not know this today. I did not know this until today, rather. Um, apparently, uh, cockroaches are cannibals. I did not. I just. This is new information for me. I did not know this, but apparently they are. I guess I shouldn't be surprised because they just eat. I'm sure just whatever, just to survive and sustain themselves. But um, I actually have <laughs> during the summer. Every now and then, we'll get like a stray cockroach that kind of gets into the basement. So I have, um, I have glue traps out for them. And, you know, they'll get stuck in there, whatever, and they'll die. As things that get stuck on things tend to do, they'll die. Um, so, you know. <laughs> so, I have a glue trap that's literally like right over here on the floor, like like maybe like three feet away from this table, like on this side. I have a glue trap over there because the, the cockroaches like to kind of frequent that little area. I guess that's where they come out of. Although I don't know where they're coming from, but that seems to be where they manage to end up somehow. So that glue trap actually has like a couple, couple corpses on it already. And the funny thing is, is that... Like, one will get caught there, and then I'll come back the next day, and the body is gone. Not gone, gone, like, but they're like, like, some legs are still stuck in there, but the body is gone. And I'm just like, did he somehow free himself and tear off his own legs or what? No, but they're actually like pieces of him, like, around the trap. And I was like, what the heck happened? What came? And my only thought is, okay, maybe a spider came and, like, ate it. Because, you know, it's a, it's a basement, you get spiders too, you know, and that's the way basements are. You get spiders, you get bugs. The way basements tend to be. For the most part, anyway. Obviously, our basement isn't sealed pretty well. Isn't sealed well, well enough, which is why we get kind of little critters down here. But, um, but for the most part, you know, you know, basements get spiders, you get bugs, whatnot. So I figured, oh, okay, maybe a spider saw it and was like, "Hey, a buffet, all right," and ate, ate the cockroach. But you know, that's what I thought. That was my theory, anyway. But then this morning, this morning, I come down here. And I look over to the glue trap over there. And there is another cockroach that's kind of like leaning over the glue trap. Like, like he's not on it. He's leaning over it. Like, he was smart enough to know, okay, I'm not going to step on this thing. <laughs> because this guy here is dead. So, and he's on, no. So I think he kind of smartened up. So this cockroach was like leaning over the glue trap, eating one of the dead cockroaches. I know this is probably disgusting for you to listen to. I don't care. I need something to talk about. We're going to talk about this. Hey, why not? This is what these videos are for. We're talking about just random stuff. There was a cockroach eating another cockroach. And I was like, oh my God, these things are cannibals. They eat each other. That's just, ah, ah, ah. I was like, okay. I know, this is gross. I know, but I just, I was genuinely amazed. I didn't know that was, I didn't know they did that. I, I shouldn't be surprised. But I did not know they did that. I was like, hey, okay. 
Sure. <laughs> Apparently there are no rules in the insect kingdom. It's anything goes. Anything goes to survive. Even if you have to eat each other. Okay, sure. I mean, hey. 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 <laughs> so there's my story. There's my story of insect cannibalism that I was not aware of. I did not know these things. I did not know these things. Okay, so anyway. Now that I'm done telling you that little gross story. Some of you are probably like, can you stop? Can you just stop talking? I don't want to hear this. Yeah. I'm not sorry, just so you know, I'm not sorry at all. All right, we've got the shoulder pads to do, and then we'll be done. There we go. We've got the Fies, the Fies shoulder pad. Oops, I have to be careful with this. this. is one of those stickers that's like in these wraparound stickers. All right. So how is this going? So this is just going like that, I'm assuming. Okay, I guess, I think I'm doing this right. I hope I'm doing this right. I'm probably not doing this right. How is this? Let me, let, me, let me look at the picture. Let me look at the picture. Let me see what I'm working with here. So that's supposed to, or, okay, so that red stripe is supposed to go over this bit. Okay, okay, okay. I see how things are supposed to be positioned here. Okay, so this needs to be higher up so that can sit up here like that. But that seems like that's too far over. And we're going to get this. No, we're going to get this. You know why? Because skill. Because skill. There we go. That's how that's supposed to sit. Just like that. Just like that. Because I have all the skill. <laughs> oh, man. Ah, oh, man. Sometimes I'm just amazed by me and all the skill I have. We're gonna do it again, look at that. Oh, perfect. You know why skill? I have all of it. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Actually, I'm not. I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry for my skill. It's a blessing and a curse at the same time, but you know what? I accept it. Because with great power comes stuff i don't know it's, it's, i don't know it's, yeah. great power comes you know twitter followers i don't know seems to be a way it works now <laughs> uh. anyway there we go that worked out beautifully there look at that look at that look at that skill you wish you had this you wish you had this kind of skill but you don't but you don't, you know who does? This guy, this guy right here. That's right, I've got it. And you can't have it, I'm not gonna share. No, sorry, I'm not gonna share it. Call me selfish, call me whatever you want, but nope, not sharing the skill. Not sharing it. It's not my fault. You don't have this greatness that was thrust upon me. We can't all be so lucky. We can't all be so lucky. Look at that. Again, look at that. I didn't even have to readjust it. That just went on perfectly right there on the first try. You know why? Skill! All of it is mine. That's right. That is right. Recognize. Recognize my greatness. And bow. Kneel before me because it's really the only thing you can do. And the only thing you should do. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say right there. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, don't pay attention to a word I say. I'm just rambling. I'm just a rambling idiot. Don't mind me. Don't mind me one bit. I'm just sitting here talking about, you know, roach cannibalism and how much skill I have. of stickering a toy. I don't know. I just, you know, that was... Disregard everything I say. <laughs> As just the ramblings of an insane man. Okay, so that's it. That's it for the stickers. They always give you this extra sticker here. That says another whatever, another five is here. I don't know what you're supposed to do with the sticker. There's no like base. I wish they gave you like a little base or something to actually put this on. That would be really nice, but uh, whatever. Okay, but uh, we're done. We're basically done with the stickering process. Now we need to give him hands. I luckily remembered to have my nippers handy. So I can nip, and nip, and nip. 
So as usual, these guys, they have, whoop, they have a pair of close fists, and they also have a pair of just extendy grabby hands there. So what I'll do is I'll put on one fist, one fist, that's kind of snug, there we go, and then one grabby hand, and there we go. And he is all done. And there we have another Faze. And that looks pretty cool. That looks quite cool. I like it. Uh, I like it. I really don't know how well these leg stickers are going to stay on. Because like I said, there's a lot of like textured stuff underneath these stickers. So I don't know if these are going to eventually just start peeling up. I don't know. Time will tell. We'll see what happens. But here is another Faze. Let's get in close here so we can take a look at... That gorgeous, gorgeous face of his. Look at that. It actually looks pretty good. Nice gold paint there. Some metallic green, red and black. He's got this thing sticking out of the back of his head. I have no idea what that's for. He's supposed to hold him by it or something. I don't know. I don't know what that's there for. I don't know if that has a purpose, but it's there. Okay. But let's see. All the sticker detailing there. Done in silver. Fives. 2003. Driver, legs are stickered, calves are stickered. So, lots of nice details, red in there as well. Nice silver there on the helmet as well. Looks nice. And articulation, as usual, head done. Rotate, kind of look up and down a little bit. You get some wiggly waggly. Arms can do a full 360, move in and out. Shoulder pads on a hinge. You have bicep rotation. Yeah, you have some snug joints. 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. You got wrist rotation. You do have waist rotation. Legs forward, back, outward. Fly rotation. Slightly over 90 degrees of bend at the knee. Feet up, down. Tiltage, rotationage. Yay! Posing things, stuff. Huzzah! Huzzah, I say! And as usual for comparison, here he is with the Rider Kicks. Gio, and as usual. I just wish they were just a little bit taller just to match up. Why can't they make them just a little bit taller? Just, just right there. Just right, you know. You know, these are small enough as it is. You couldn't make these, uh, you know. <sighs> anyway. And with his another brethren, another build, another exade, there you have your another riders so far. So there you go. Now, I hope you enjoyed this episode of MGO Stickers Stuff. As usual, things, links down in the description. You know how it works. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Home in your face.